Well, hello, hello, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice, and we are going to be glad in it. Happy Tuesday to you all that are tuning in, whether it's now or later on. Thank you for taking the time to tune in on this morning. My name is Pastor Danielle, and I am the lead pastor here at Christian Church for All Nations in the city of Warren, Michigan. And thank you so much for again taking the time to join in on our morning devotional. We're going to get ready to open up in a time of prayer in just a minute. But again, as I say all the time, if you have any prayer requests, if there's any prayer needs, all you need to do is let us know in the comments how we can pray for you. We believe in the power of prayer. So whatever the need may be, whatever the situation may be, let us know. If you don't want to go into details, no problem. Just say, I need prayer and trust assured. We are going to pray for you. And as those prayer requests are being answered, let us know as well. Why? Because we want to rejoice with you. We want to share with this world what our Lord is doing. And we want to testify to his goodness, his awesomeness. So let's go before the Lord in prayer on today. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you again for this day that you've given us. This day that you have made, this day that we're making that decision and declaration that we will rejoice and we are going to be glad in it. So, Lord, I lift up my brothers and my sisters right now, Lord, that need a touch, that need intervention, that whatever the situation may be, Lord God, we release it to you, God. We release that prayer request to you, God. Lord, we lift our hands in an act of surrender, saying we take our hands off and we're going to trust you in the process and the journey. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity that we can come on this platform to share for just a few moments. We give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Well, this morning, I just wanted to share with you just a few minutes uh, on the theme of when your prayers seem like they are on back order. And I think today's society that we're living in we do understand the nature of something that you request and something that you order and then you get the terrifying message for me it's like oh, it's out of stock and it's on back order and then the message of um we just don't know when it's going to come in and i think sometimes when we're praying and asking the Lord for something, and sometimes in our mindset, we have an idea as to when we think that prayer request should be answered. And if we're truly honest and we reflect for a moment, does it seem like our prayers, like our prayers on back order? And sometimes we're going to the Lord, we're petitioning these things, we're like praying, where it's like, Lord, here's my situation. And when we don't see things happen like that, you know, we live in that drive through mentality. We go to the drive through we place our order, and what? We go to the cashier at the next station, we pay our money, we get our, our food, and we get it like that most of the time. Because some days, you know, the drive through it can be a little slow. And when we look at our prayer life, and if we've been praying for something for a minute, and when I say a minute, we can be praying for something for years upon years and upon years, and we don't see any results. We don't see that prayer request being answered. And sometimes, again, if we're honest, we can feel like an order we place maybe through Amazon and you, again, we used to get the message that, oh, it's gonna, there's gonna be a delivery delay or you go send something out through, through FedEx or UPS or however you send it out. And then you get that text message or email saying that it's delayed and your heart just sinks because you've been wanting to get that out to someone or you've been waiting for it for yourself. And it gets heart wrenching. But I want to encourage you today as you're waiting, what are you to do? Continue to pray. The word of God says in First Thessalonians 5 and 17, it says, never stop praying. And you can say, well, Pastor Danielle, it's been five years, it's been 10 years, it's been 15 plus years, and it still has not come to fruition. And again, you feel like, okay, where, where's the prayer at? And like, what's, is, this, is that a standstill? Is it, is, has it stopped? But I want you to encourage you to stay rooted in the word of God. 
And what the word says in First Thessalonians, it says to never stop praying. Even if you don't see it yet, even doesn't, even though it may not look like it's happening at the moment, or it may even seem like this is never going to happen. Never stop praying. I remember reading in a devotional a couple, a couple years ago about a woman who was praying for her husband to be saved. She prayed over 30 years. Let that sink in for a minute. She prayed over 30 years for her husband to come to the Lord. And I could imagine what she was thinking during that time, that those 30 years of praying and seeking and intercessing and, and fasting and the years would go by and she would probably wonder okay Lord what's what's going on I'm praying you said and the word says as for me and my house we're going to serve the Lord but for over 30 years the prayer she prayed was for her husband to come to the Lord and after 30 years he came to the Lord maybe you're in a situation like that or maybe you're in this situation here's another thing you know because we pray something it may not be answered in the manner in which we think it's going to be answered and i remember there was a situation i i had prayed to the lord about and i'm like i'm asking the lord and i've been praying and praying and the lord had one day dropped to my spirit very gently said you know i answered that prayer and i'm like no you didn't he's like oh the lord's like oh yes i did and the Lord began to unpack and take the layers off and explain to me how he answered that prayer request that I had petitioned for for years upon years. And it was an answer, not in the way that my mind thought it should be answered. But after I realized, I said, wow, Lord, you did answer the question. You, you answered that prayer request. And so you have to understand that when you say, Lord, let your will be done, you better believe and you better mean that when you say let your will be done not my will but your will lord how you answer the prayer request i'm going to trust you lord even if it be it's like that woman who prayed for over 30 years for her spouse to be saved i'm going to never stop praying that's what the word says in first thessalonians 5 17. don't stop praying don't stop interceding. And what you need to do, get you some accountability people that when you're in the places of discouragement, where you're like, okay, Lord, what's happening? When you're in that place, okay, Lord, I, I put this prayer request in. It's my prayer. Where's it hanging out at? Is it, is it, is it, there's a delay in the delivery of my prayer requests? Get some godly people around you that's going to undergird you and encourage you in those times when you're feeling like, Lord, when is the answer going to happen? When is the manifestation going to happen? Get people that will encourage you to keep your focus on Christ, to continue to pray, fast, and intercede, and keep your focus on Christ Jesus. But I just want to stop by and share that with you and take time to go out through the Bible and do some study on your own of how the Lord gave a word or a message was given to someone and how that time pan had gone by where there's throughout the Bible, there's many countless stories of people getting a word and years and years down the road before it is answered, before the vision, before the fulfillment came to pass. Do some study on your own so that you can be encouraged. Like David said, encourage yourself in the Lord. And that's what I'm encouraging you today too. Because in this life, things can get weary. It can get kind of crazy and you can get discouraged about when you don't see things happening on your timeline. But again, it's not about your timeline. It's about God's timeline. If you're saying you're living that surrender life and saying, Lord, I trust you, that means you're gonna trust him in his word and you're gonna trust the process. And I want to end with this before I pray, out, pray us out. Never stop praying. Look to him always. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you again for this day, Lord. Lord, help us during those times when we're discouraged about where we're at in our prayer request, God, that we're going to trust you. And Lord, however you may see to answer it or maybe not answer it, Lord God, we're going to trust you 
because we know you know what's best for us. So God, I lift up my brothers and my sisters right now. I stand with them, Lord God. I cover them in their prayer needs. And Lord, we're saying we trust you in your word and we trust you in your process. We give you the glory. Keep your hedge of protection around us as we go about our day. We give you the glory and praise. Amen and amen. Well, have an awesome day. Tomorrow night is worship in the word. Look forward to seeing you on tomorrow night at 630. Invite someone to church because we love guests. And if you're looking for a church, quit looking because we would love to have you here at Christian Church for All Nations. Bye.